uh, problems really quick. What's up? What's up? What's up? I like, <laughs> I'm kind of like out of breath because I like ran upstairs to the desk so I could do this. Um, what's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Uh, give me a second. I want to pull up some problems I've been thinking about. Uh, maybe we've already done them. I, I don't remember, actually. Let me see if I can find them. Do, do, do. Did I email them to that dude? Let me see. Might have been email. Hold up. <laughs> Slow starts. What's up, everybody? Dude, this is the last week of summer, isn't it? That's awesome. Enjoy it. It's a nice day today, bros. All right, let me see. Hmm. This is taking forever. Wow. What's up, Jordan? What's up, Andrew? Geek? Around 10 wrong in ELA, 4 on the math. That's pretty solid, Rachel. Uh, that's pretty solid, April. I like that. That's really solid. Special video for especially tricky questions. Uh, you know, I actually last on Friday, if you want to look at the Friday stream, I was like trying to throw as many curveballs as possible um, in that stream. So it's like, if you're looking for like curveballs and stuff like that, that might be, that might be your thing. Let me see, did I send them like this? Oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder if I still have those somewhere. Oh, no, they got thrown away. So sad. Okay. All right, let me see. This one, I'm not going to start with the hard one, but I got three problems for you today. Or I got two that I wanted to, uh, actually, I just have one that I really want to do. Okay, so let me write it down, and then you guys can check it out. I wish I still had this written out, but I don't know where it went. Oh, no comma here. Okay, this is a good question. All right, what's up? Hey, everybody. How you doing? I, <laughs> I was just like in my own head. I was like in a cloud or whatever. Let's look what the chat's up to. Um, April's figured out the significance of the thumbnails. What's the secret, dude? Uh, yeah, the tricky questions. I would check that Friday stream for sure. Is mayonnaise an instrument? It is if you have a jar of it and you like stick a spoon into it and you just like they could be i mean you gotta listen to your heart on that one if it sounds like music to you then maybe you've made it you know maybe you made an instrument um <laughs> uh let's see do, 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 do. okay cool so yeah let's just do this one let's do this first problem because i think it's a good one all right cool guys let's get it 
Uh, Jim has a Jim has twenty four feet of fencing. He is building a rectangular pen for chickens. He is using the side of his barn for one wall of the pen. No comma because it's not epic comma fanboy. It's not two complete sentences, so no comma before the and. And using the fencing for the remaining three sides. If the pen needs to be seventy square feet, what are the dimensions of the pen? Mm. Oh yeah, you saw Lost? The first Super Stream was Lost. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, I know Wiz. The nine hundreds the nine you know, the, the last lap of any race is the hardest, bro. Alright, here we go. Okay. First answer in. Take your time. I'm gonna give give you guys like uh maybe two more minutes for this one. <laughs> yeah, Henry, chickens, bro. That's like a thing in LA. People like get chickens. It's like the cool thing to do. It's like, whoa, I have chickens, man. I got my own eggs. <laughs> Geek. Neil. Andrew. Nice, nice. I'll give you another minute and a half. Cool. I wonder, did you guys do this, Patrick? Did you guys do this using quadratic equations, or how did you guys do this? Introvert? Was this just like a guess and check scenario? Zach? Anisha? Okay, I think that's like as long as I'm going to give you guys, because there's so many answers in. Were you guys, what's up, Spore Show? Were you guys just like guessing and checking? How did you guys do this one? Because I feel like you guys got it really fast. And we'll, we'll definitely go over how to do it. But I'm just curious. Guess and check. Yeah. That's solid. It's all good, Sports Show. You finessed it? Yeah, Laurel. That's what's up. If you can finesse it, finesse it. You know what I mean? Like, if I said, yeah. Either way, you're going to get a right answer. Okay, so let's go over this. Ah, yeah. We're going to go over it, April. So don't even trip. So what do I mean by quadratic? Guys, it's an advanced word, but really all that quadratic means is that you're dealing with x squared. That's all that quadratic really means. So we're going to be dealing with x squared. That's it. So what this is is a system of equation, just like an age game. You know what I mean? So yeah, you can definitely guess and check this. And for the people who did guess and check this, you should be proud. You should be totally proud if you were able to guess and check this because you finessed it. Now the math you can get caught in the weeds, dude. The math can be kind of difficult. But if you got the right answer, if you finessed it, and a dude who did all the math perfectly because his math genius got it, you both got the right answers, dude. So you guys are the same. All right, so let's, April uh, listed the factors. That's smart, dude. All right, so actually that is the fastest way to do this is guess and check. But I'll show you guys what's up just in case. So we know that, uh, let's just call it the width plus two of the length is going to equal 24. And how did I get this? Well, if there's like a barn wall and we have our rectangular pen here, this is going to be the width. That's a length. That's a length. So the perimeter of the fencing is going to be 24. We also know that W times L is going to equal 70. Two variables. You need two equations, system of equations. So we're going to be doing some like substitution and stuff. So for this one, I know that W equals 24 minus 2L right? Because I just subtracted 2L from each side. So now I know what W equals and I can plug it in. Instead of W, I'm going to say 24 minus 2L times the value of L, 70. So I don't know if you guys know this, but you do have to distribute this L to this guy and that guy. So what we get is 24L minus 2L squared, 70. We're going to get everything on one side because in order to solve quadratic equations, you have to make them equal to zero. And I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. And if you're really, really confused, you can watch my video on it. I think I have a video on foiling and stuff. So I'm going to put everything on the right side. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is divide this entire side by two and this entire side by two as well. 
Now, whenever you multiply, divide, square, or square root aside, you have to do it to every single term. If you want to add or subtract, yeah, I can pick a 70 off each side, whatever, but with subtract, with multiplication or division, it's the whole side. So zero divided by two is luckily pretty just easy right there. Okay, so this is what most people go, oh, that's a quadratic equation. L squared minus 12L plus 35. We have our L squared, we have another L, we have 35. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it minus 70? No, that's plus 70, bro. So I'm not going to go too deep into this, but we need two numbers that multiply to equal 35. And those same two numbers need to add to equal negative 12. So fortunately for us, we know that negative 5 and negative 7 multiply to equal positive 35 and add to equal negative 12. So this is called foiling or reverse foiling or whatever. And if you're confused on how to do this, I have a video on it. Just check it out, just so that you're familiar with it. Will this be on the 8th grade SHSAT? Dude, they might throw one or two questions, like no lie. Sometimes they put like really advanced questions. Maybe they're not, they won't even grade them. Sometimes they do it just to mess with you, to make you feel like, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Okay, I'm good. Thanks, introvert, though. I, I appreciate it. You got to keep me sharp, bro, because, dude, I have made mistakes. So we have to ask ourselves, just like if we have two numbers that equal zero, like A times B equals zero, if A is zero, it doesn't matter what B is, it's still going to equal zero. Same thing, if it doesn't matter what A is, if B is zero, we're going to be zero. So that's what we're doing here. This parentheses equals zero, the whole thing is. So our answers here are going to be five and seven. Very interesting. These are our potential lengths. And notice, here's 5 and here's 7. That's why there's two answers, dude. There's two potential ways that you can set up this pen. Yeah. So, I mean, what I would do is I would just plug these 7 back into this equation. And I'll do both of them just to show y'all. Um, let's say the length is 7. So, W times 7 equals 70. W is going to equal 10. Then we can do it again, w times 5 equals 70, w is going to equal 14. So yeah, this is correct, and Henry's answer over here is actually correct too. The entire chat is correct. That's what's up. Um, so yeah, very, very nice. <laughs> yeah, this is ninth grade, but dude, they... They have, in the past, thrown really, really advanced things into the SHSAT just to be like, do you guys know this? Because, guys, they're looking for the top 3% of kids. The top 3%. So they have to throw things in there that are just stupid hard. And this could be one of them. Uh, 2L minus 24 plus 10... Oh, the quadratic, you mean the quadratic formula, Wiz, where it's like negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over A. Um, I think this would be the fastest way. Just guessing, checking, dude. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Exa yeah, it could be Tammy. That would have been slick. I should have done that, actually. Uh, what do you mean a quadratic equation, Wiz? Will they move the SHSAT from October? I don't know, bro. Maybe. Maybe. Why is it 70? I got you, bro. So we know this equation is W times L equals 70. And so I found out here that 1W equals 24 minus 2L. So I subbed in this 24 minus 2L in for W. And then I got that. Notice that the 70 still is 70. Now I got this once I distributed. Equals positive 70. I added 2L and I subtracted 24L from each side. That's why I have that positive 2L and the minus 24L. That's why That's why that. I just moved everything to the right. It's all good, Ben. It's all good. How many questions would you say is the average to get into a specialized high school? So hard to say, April, because it depends on if you get a hard test form. If you get a hard test form, you can miss a lot. If you get an easy test form, you can't miss more than like four or five. So it's like... Oh, what's up? Red Wand's back. Yeah. Oh, you memorized the quadratic formula? That's good. But, dude, guess and check. All day. All day. Dude, good job, though. Um, what else could we work on? Do, is there anything that you guys want to work on? The odds ones out? 
I guess. I don't know. Is that a is that something I should know? Okay. Ninety five, maybe. What could we do? Could we do another like quadratic equation one? Um maybe. Yeah, maybe we can actually. Hmm. Four and five in total. Yeah, dude, April, if it's a really easy math section, you'll know it. You'll know it because you'll be flying through it. And you'll be like, oh my God, everybody's crushing it. And if you look around and everybody's crushing the math section, like that means it's an easy one. And that means they grade it harder. So just keep that in mind. A system of equations, we could do that. What's up, Rachel? Good Spanish, by the way. Estoy muy bueno. <laughs> yeah, geometry, functions. I feel like we did another quadratic. We did another quadratic. <clears throat> Let's see, geometry. Should we, since we can miss more on Sunday, maybe, maybe. Yeah, thanks, Geek. I kind of disappointed, guys. I, I, I guess I got to have to kind of be kind of real with you guys. I was hoping to get to 100 million subs before PewDiePie. I just checked PewDiePie's channel. He's got 100 million subs. Um, and I just checked mine. I, I think I have like 900 something. So we tried. Really good job. I want to give a shout out to everybody in my channel. Tried to get me to 100 million subs before Pewds, but. Some reason it just didn't happen, man. I, I don't know. That's not the first, you know, subscriber race he won. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, he gained 1.5 million within a week. I mean, what did we gain within a week? I think it was like 80. So, I mean, we put up a good fight. We just didn't have what it takes, which is fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we still can try to beat him to 200 million. We could try to beat him to 200 million. I have a feeling we will. But I'm going to need you guys to tell at least one friend each. <laughs> then we'll get to 200 million. No problem. I have total confidence. Thanks, Jordan. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Also, yeah, guys, welcome. If you're new to the chat, we're going to be grinding SHSAT problems for the next 60 days because your test is in 60 days, which is kind of crazy to think about as well. Um, yeah. Thanks, Laurel. I'm mad too. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just drop a sub if you're brand new and you want to see when these streams are happening. And I'm going to be dropping more videos as the test gets closer. Um, yeah. So yeah, definitely do that. Drop a like if you haven't already. Uh, I'm always shilling for likes. That's just like my hobby now. <laughs> Which is great. At least I'm not e-begging. At least I'm not e-begging. Okay. Um, let's get some geometry going. I actually have some, uh, interesting, some interesting problems for you. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Oh, I have my ruler back. Oh, yeah. Look at how chipped up it is, dude. So I don't even know if you can see that. It's like so chipped. It's like not even a. It's not even a straight ruler anymore. Uh, made in Japan. Shout out to Le shout out to Japan. All right. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay. Uh, a. Let's call this D. Um, we'll do this. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then up. It's pretty solid. Dude, look at how crisp that line is. Whoa. Whoa. Only the freshy of the fresh problems for you guys. No, that's trash. Okay. See? Okay. Let's say this is Y. This here is Z. This here is the value of 2X minus 15 degrees. These are all degrees, degrees. And this is 3X minus 5 degrees. And I want to know... Uh... <laughs> uh, this one's hard. Okay, let's do this. Um, all right, guys. We have a parallelogram. Look at that beautiful parallelogram, straight lines. What is the value of y minus z? Let's get it. Yeah. Oh, happy Sheba Day, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
yeah dude whiz that real <laughs> this ruler is the real og it's it's been with me since day one bros uh geek you might want to check your addition there bro um not saying you're wrong but it's just very creative <laughs> what's up alicia you can do it ethan believe in yourself just listen to your heart y you can do it all right i'm gonna open my ac band it's hot See. Wow, maybe this stumped you guys. All right, Mr. Leong's back on it, first thing. All right, player. Alicia, miscellaneous. Oh, I got you for 552 miscellaneous. <laughs> uh, okay. It, oh, people are saying zero. Oh, I thought that you were just typing O in the chat. Phoenix, got you, bro. Yeah, got you. Okay. I don't know if it would be zero because then that means that those angles are the same or maybe they are. Haha, there's Tammy dropping some knowledge. Yeah, yeah, Jordan, that's right. If it's zero, that's a square. You need harder problems? <laughs> okay, all right. I like that. Oh, you said 50? Oh, no, you said 52, introvert. I caught you, bro. No way, unless you deleted that comment. I got you, dude. Then substituting the equation. <laughs> you didn't say 52. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did, bro. I mean, maybe maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Let me go back into the uh, thing here. Uh, no, you said 50. Okay, that's on me, dude. That's totally on me. Cool. You got it. Um, <laughs> introvert, just all caps. Just smash that caps button. Gearing up for war, boys. Got to smash that caps lock. <laughs> okay, let's go over it. Um, so, guys, a lot of you guys are pointing out some really cool stuff. So, I just also want to point out some cool stuff about parallelograms and things that they test kind of often with parallelograms. This angle and this angle will always equally, uh, will always add up to 180. Just like this angle and this angle will always add up to 180. So two angles next to each other in a parallelogram will add up to 180. Same thing is true for a rhombus. Same thing is true for a square. This plus this is going to equal 180. And I think Tammy pointed that out in the chat. Um, yeah. So I'm, I mean, I'm going to go over this. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go over this. Oh, Study's here. And Shad's here too? Dude. Okay. Boys are back in town. All right. Cool. So let's go up with this. Um, oh, Neil, what'd you get for an answer, bro? Oh, you got 50? Got you, son. Okay. So, yeah. So, I was just saying, these two angles will always add up to 150. These, 180. These will always add up to 180. That's pretty chill. Another thing with parallelograms, which is, which is also kind of chill. I mean, they're boring, but whatever. This plus this will always, these will always equal each other. Just like these angles will always equal each other. So, that's just something else you can think about. People were talking about it in different ways. But, yeah, those are the two concepts that are at play here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is find out what X is. And this plus this will always equal 180. So, um, let's add them up. Minus 15. And that's going to equal 180 right? So I'm going to add these. There's no real distribution because there's no negative in there. So it's actually kind of easy. So I'm just going to keep it pretty simple here. That's going to be 5x. And negative 5 minus 15 is negative 20, bros. Equals 180d. Cool. We're going to add 20 to each side. And 5x equals 200. 
So 5 times x equals 200. So we're going to divide by 5 because it's the opposite of times 5. That cancels out. 200 divided by 5 is 40. Cool. So x equals 40. That's pretty chill. Now, nobody put that as an answer, which is great because it means you didn't solve for x. A lot of people will. So very, very nice. We're trying to solve for y minus z. So if x is 40, how much is this? Well, that's 120 minus 5. So this here is going to be 115. And what is this? 80 minus 15. So that's going to be 65. Cool. And that's nice because 65 plus 115 is 180. We're good to go. Now, like I said earlier, this angle and this angle are equal. This angle and this angle are equal as well. So we know y is 115 and we know z is 65. So what is the value of y minus z? y minus z, 115 minus 65. I do not want to do that in my head. 0, 11 minus 6, 5. The chat's absolutely right. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So that's how this one goes down. Um, yeah, good job. Um, Henry, I think you were in the right place because you had that x plus 10. Maybe that came from here somewhere. I don't know. But give it on, be on the lookout for that. Um, oh, Red Possible, you're in London, dude. That's late, man. That's some late math, bro. <laughs> okay. All right, let's keep going. Let's do another one. Rachel says they're not hard enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, what's another one we can do? Let me see here. That would actually... Ooh, this is a good one. Oh, wait, actually, we've done this. We just did this one, didn't we? Did we? I don't know if we have, actually. I don't think we have. Let's do this one. I'm going to make it big so y'all can read it. How many spaces is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, cool. Okay. That's looking good. All right. This one's going to be a little bit more on the setup. Because I was definitely just playing video games instead of prepping for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say, dude? What can I say? It's been busy. I'm just like looking for time to kick it. All right. There we go. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. Now I'm going to do the shading and make it look really gross. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So here's the question. I don't know if I can zoom in. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right, let's get it. So A, B, C, D, I should probably say this. A, B, C, D is square. Yep, that needs to be said. All right, cool. So A, B, C, D is a square. X is the midpoint of A, D. Y is the midpoint of A, B. What is the area of the shaded region? Yeah, April, that's pretty good. Uh, is that 14 in one section or is that 14 over two section? Thanks, Jordan. Yeah, I got it. 
Yeah, thanks, Aggie Troy. <laughs> Zoom out a bit. Um, I could do that. How's that, bro? Yeah, shout out to Animation Space for the uh, thumbnail today. I thought that was like really slick, dude. Rachel Chang's got six. Laurel. April. Give or take one or two. <laughs> what do you mean? Ethan. Henry. Oh, we got a little split here. Interesting. Alicia. Jordan. Ethan. I got you, Ethan. Sports show. I kind of wish Sports Show was your real name. Is that really your real name? That'd be awesome. That's a sick name. Ethan, got you on the 14, bro. <laughs> Andrew's got six. All right. Can't be 14? I don't know. Shod, Neil. Venna. What's up, Venna? Saggy. Give or take one or two. It has to be less than eight. That's an interesting observation, Laurel. And that's really, that's really, AO, I got you. AO, it's Tasman. I just called you AO. I'll give you next time. Neil, Zach. Zach's just guessing up here. But yeah, that was actually a really nice uh, observation, Laurel. Notice how this is a diagonal. So half of this square is not covered. And if it's four by four and the whole thing is 16, it's gotta be less than eight. That's really slick to think that. Yeah, doubt. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? April, didn't I use your thumbnail last week? I think I, didn't I use it like, oh no, no, I have not used yours yet, April. I really like it though. I'm gonna use it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a really good thumbnail, Rachel. I'm going to definitely use that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so offended. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely not 24 <laughs> introvert animation space. Okay. Let's go through this. I don't know how to spell animation because uh, spelling is not on the SHSAT bros. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's get into this. So how do I submit thumbnails? Ethan, you can just email them to me, dude. Uh, TylerTutorTestPrep.com. You'll see the email at the end of all my streams. So you can always hit me up. Likewise, bros, got any questions? Hit me up. I can answer your questions no problem uh, via email. Uh, also, smash that like if you like how fresh this square looks. Um, let's go into how to answer this, okay? So, yeah, like Laurel pointed out, it's got to be less than half because this is 4 by 4 so the whole thing is going to be 16. So, we can also start filling this in because if Y is the midpoint of AB, we know that's 2 right here and that's 2 right here and this is 2 right here and that's 2 right there. Pretty slick. So, there's two ways to do shaded regions. One, you find the area, you find the equation for the area of a trapezoid because that's what the shape is, and then fill in the blanks. That's hard. The second thing you can do is take the area of the whole shape and just minus the stuff you don't need. So the area for the whole thing is 16. Now, this is a right triangle. And remember, one half base times height. So one half of 16, that's minus eight. And what about this triangle here? Two times two, that's four. One half of that is two, so minus two. So yeah, that's how everybody got six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely using your thumbnail tomorrow, April. That, like, that really cracked me up. <laughs> it really did. I was like, I don't know why, but it, it really got me. All right, let me see if I can get another good geometry problem for y'all. Ooh, that is a little too hard. What about this? Ooh, okay, yeah, let's do this. Another opportunity to use my my ruler. 
my trusty ruler. Ugh. Okay. All right. That's nice. Wow. Wow. All right. That's really good. Okay, I got to find the middle. One. Bang. Bang. I'm just going to eyeball this one because I don't want to count. Mm, I'll do the middle there. Middle there. That's fine. Okay. My bumpy ruler is fighting me. All right, cool. That's looking fresh. Um, all right, so we need to get some numbers onto this. Let's see. Um, Okay, cool. Um, let's say um, W, X, Y, and my weird Z are midpoints. What is Okay, yeah. All right. So, here is the question. Okay. W, X, Y, and Z are midpoints. What is the perimeter of the quadrilateral? M, N, O, P. And to answer your question, April, I'm always eating fries. <laughs> and Phoenix, if you're looking for something you could do to feel good about yourself, um, you could always like write yourself a nice note and then like hide it, and then later you'll find it. <laughs> yeah, I eat fries at 4 p.m. I eat fries at 2 p.m. I eat fries before 10 a.m. I don't care, man. I'm like that. Okay, we got some answers coming in, so I gotta like actually focus here. Um, Twenty. Introvert. Venna. Wiz. Uh, Sports show. Henry. Yeah, Laurel. <laughs> there you go, introvert. Yep. April. MNOP? Oh. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> WXYZ. <laughs> Trick question, bros. The answer is there is no MNOP. <laughs> Shout out to Jordan for using facts and logic to destroy my problem. Uh, just kidding. But thanks for the heads up. Yep, Henry. Uh, Jordan just grilled me on it. So, yeah. Anisha? <laughs> no, I'm blind. I'm the one that's blind. You guys are you guys are great. It's like normally the chat calling me out. Like I <laughs> very rarely. I think one time I got the answer that nobody else got. But otherwise the chat just calls me out. Phoenix Gray. Okay. It's a little pylon here. Patrick. Tasman. Nice. Um, yep. And that's another thing. Introvert. Three, four, five triangles. Yeah, Rachel. 
Yeah, it's okay. Oh, you got the area or something? Uh, Saggy, Phoenix. Okay, I'm just going to go over this one because you guys are all crushing it. Um, yeah, I think I got everybody. All right, yeah, so a lot of people are pointing out three, four, five triangles. These are very, very common right triangles. Three, four, and then a five in the hypotenuse. Now, we can do the Pythagorean theorem because that's what this is, a right triangle. Remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this is 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 9 plus 16, 25. And if we take the square roots of both sides, yeah, 5 is going to equal c. So this is 5, and this is 5, and this is 5, and this is 5, and that's why you end up getting 20. That's what's up. That was too easy. Smash like if you want a really hard problem. And I'll give it to you. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to do multiple choice. A multiple choice problem on this. All right, so check it out. Just give me like give me like 2 or 3 seconds to like get this problem underway and then I'll I'll, I'll show it out. Um so, give me a second. Dude, it's nice to have the ruler back. That's for sure. Are you guys ready to go back to school? Dude, that's kind of sucks. I, I I like school. Like I liked school when I was in it, but to be honest, being an, an adult is like way better. <laughs> like being an adult is way better. I like they lie to you and they're like, "Oh yeah, you're going to wish you were a kid." No, nah, dude. Being an adult is way better. So, yeah, just be good and get good grades, I guess, so then you can have fun. Um, let's see. This would be A, B, C, and D. And this is a 2. Okay. Okay. Yep. Let's say. Um, okay, and then I'm going to give you guys answer choices here. Okay. All right. So let's check it out. Uh, thanks for all the likes, guys. Super appreciate that. I don't even know if it helps with analytics, but it's it's really nice. Thanks. Okay. So ABCD is a square. Uh, that's really small print. I'm see if I can enhance that really quick. All right. Got to get all the answer choices in there. All right. Cool. ABCD is a square. What is the sum of the perimeters of the four triangles that are created? We actually have answer choices. Yep, what is the sum of the perimeters of the four triangles? That's what's up. Exactly, animation space. Yeah.
Okay. Yeah, yeah, Laurel. That's what's up. I got to give you guys hard problems because the chat is too smart, dude. <laughs> Wiz, that's funny, bro. <laughs> it's E. It's E, guys. What is that video? Forget that meme, whatever. Shod. Got you, Henry. Yeah, an introvert kind of dropped a cool one. If you guys know 45, 45, 90, it will speed it up. But you don't need to know it. You just need to know the Pythagorean theorem to get through this. I'll give you guys like 30, like a minute, probably more, Ethan. Phoenix. Saggy. Tasman. Uh, yeah, red wall, red wall. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, did you change it to B? Oh, that's my bad, Red One. You didn't change it. I just read it wrong. All right, there you go. Uh, yeah, dude, Saggy, you got to get on it. All right, let's let me show you guys how to do this. Uh, yeah, dude, you got to go with your heart. Even if, dude, even if everybody goes one way, if your heart says to go the other, do it, bros. Got to listen to your heart, especially with math. Uh, Patrick, animation space. Okay, Anisha. Okay, people are kind of coming along to be here. That's what it looks like, at least. Um, okay, yeah, Tasman. That's easy, bro. Uh, Tammy. Okay, that's kind of interesting, dude. We've had a split here. You know what? I wonder if it's because some people counted don't count these twice because there are four triangles, the sum of the perimeters. And that line will get counted twice for this triangle and for this triangle. So I, I don't know if that's where you guys are disagreeing on this problem or not. Um, but it is interesting. Such a split, bro. Such a split. So, guys, we can go through the Pythagorean theorem here. Because we know that that's 90 degrees. And this is four triangles. So these are going to be 90 degrees. We're dealing with some right triangles here. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And why that's interesting and special is because if this is 45 and that's 45, we're dealing with an isosceles. And that means this guy and this guy have to be equal. So the Pythagorean theorem isn't a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, it's a squared plus a squared equals c squared. So because both these sides are the same, um, c squared being 2 squared. So we have 2a squared equals 4 divided by 2 divided by 2 a squared equals 2 a equals the square root of 2 and that should be the, the surprise of nobody if you know 45 45 90 triangles um, you don't need to know that but it's super useful so look it up online that type of stuff um, yeah you can do that so so we know that a is the square root of two, just like that are we really doing static is that really is that really, that really what's going, going on in the middle, middle of the national nation man man just want to get played. All right, all right. Shout out to the static. Shout out, shout out to the static. Well, that, that, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Static. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, wow. What a time to be alive, guys. Guys, what a time to be alive. Who would have known? Known. Fifty minutes in, we're gonna get some static. Static. Wow, wow. What a time. What a time to be alive. Join me as we ascend. Yeah, bros. Bro, bros. We're going to ascend. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> oh, man, let me get some coffee. Yeah. I, you know what, guys? I know. I, I know the static's bad, but um, not much I can do because my microphone is trash. Maybe I'll do a desk tour and you can see truly how trash my microphone is. Um, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so we know that each of these is going to be rad two, rad two, rad two, rad two. So let's just take one of these triangles out, right? We got our 90 degree angle. Let's just say it's this guy right there. We know that's rad two. That's rad two. What a low effort triangle this is. Wow. I should be ashamed. So this is our right triangle, and we have four of these. So what's the perimeter of this? Two plus rad two plus rad two. Two plus two rad two. Okay, so that's the perimeter of one of these. Okay, so when you multiply it by the fact that there's four, what we're going to get is eight plus eight rad two. <laughs> okay, so what I think happened here and where I think most people got this, I got this, I got C. But what I think would happen with you guys here is you only counted these once. Rad 2, rad 2, rad 2, rad 2 is 4 rad 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 is 8. So yeah, I think you guys did not count these numbers twice. Um, so yeah, that's the answer. The answer is C. Because what I asked for is what's the sum of the perimeter of the 4 triangle, not just what is the sum of all the line lengths in it. Yeah, 2 plus rad 2. Oh, I see, Tammy. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, for real. Answer C. That's it. Bang. That's interesting. Wow. That's a hard question. Look at all these people. Like, wow. But yeah, dude, shout out for uh, shout out to everybody who got B because that means that you got this rad two figure. And that really is the hardest part of this problem. Um, so, <laughs> so good job, everybody. Shout out to uh, Rachel. Ethan and uh, Patrick for being slick. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, definitely smash that like button if you feel eternal rage for getting that question incorrect. And also smash that like button if you really like getting it correct. Um. <laughs> okay, um, let me see if I can get another one for you guys. That'll be hard. That'll be hard. Um, no, too easy. Too easy. Um, I feel like I'm going to post, I'm, I'll do a couple more problems, but I'm about to post one that I think might be hard enough for you guys, but it also might be too easy. I think it's too easy. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's do, let's do this one. Yeah, and also let that be a lesson to you guys. Like, just because you don't get the same answer as everybody else doesn't mean that that's not the right one. And that's true in life, too. Not to give you guys life advice, but. So I like this problem because it actually deals with both types of very commonly used right triangles. So we'll have an opportunity to talk about them after this. And that will be sick. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. What is the value of X? <laughs> Animation space. Alert, alert. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bummer, but it's also like, I don't know. I don't know who is it. Um. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. See you, Ethan. Be easy, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate everybody who likes because those I do have people that like I think just kind of lurk and then just come and leave a dislike and leave or whatever. Um, so it helps like with my videos percentages and stuff like that when you guys leave likes for sure. Uh, yeah, you guys are absolutely on it. 
Yep. April, Red Wan, Rachel, Chad, Laurel, Shaggy, Tammy, Alicia, Patrick, Dang. Yep, Tammy's dropping some nuggets in the chat there. <laughs> yeah, dude, Wiz. Wiz posted it and then like one second later deleted it, but I had my eyes on the chat, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wiz. I saw the three, dude. If you swear you typed in that one before the three, you wouldn't have deleted that comment. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Poor Wiz, man. Poor Wiz. He's so smart, but YouTube is fighting against him, dude. YouTube is con... <laughs> YouTube, dude, I think YouTube took away your one, dude. I think that's what's happening. I think definitely I blame YouTube. I blame Susan. She probably is lurking in this stream right now and is just sniping Wiz with just Wiz's comments. <laughs> okay, so let's go over this one because you guys obviously crushed this one. But I, I do think it is interesting because, or not interesting, but at least noble, because we have both types of very common right triangles as well as having a similar shape to a very common right triangle, which is just an expansion of it. So right here we have 16 for the entire bottom. This is all thing is 16. So we talked about the, let's just do this, the three, four, five triangle. But what if I multiplied every single side by four? This would be times four. This would be times four. Yeah, that's a 16, 20, and then 12. So if you don't know it, that's fine. Pythagorean theorem, save yourself some time, learn these common right triangles. Here's another common right triangle right in here, dudes. There is the three, four, five common right triangle. There's also the five, 12, 13 common right triangle. They use these all the times because the numbers are small and you can get the square root of them easy. There is like a seven, 22, I don't even really know it because I never really use it. They use these two all the time because you don't have calculators. So yeah, this is going to be 13, X is 13, absolutely crushed. That was way too easy, dang it. Okay, that was too easy. I need to trick you guys to make me feel good. <laughs> I mean, not really. I don't. I actually don't care. Um, I'm glad you guys are getting it right, actually. Um, let's see. I'm kind of running out of geometry problems. Oh, no, I'm not. Ooh, okay. We can do this one. Uh, we did that one the other day. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Okay, nice triangle. Thank you. Thank you, Shot. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, really, Wiz? So this is the reincarnation of Wiz? See you, Patrick. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do another problem for you guys, even though it's like seven or whatever. But I don't have to go anywhere, so I'm just chilling. If I can chill with you guys, I'm gonna. I mean, what else am I gonna be doing? Playing Brawl Stars? Yeah, maybe I should get start playing a new game, dude. I've like gotten too good at Brawl Stars. All right, there's that. I kind of feel like Bob Ross when I'm doing these. Just like a happy line, just a happy little angle. You know, find find the right angle there and just. Just make a happy little angle on that line. There we go. <laughs> okay, so A degrees, B degrees, C degrees. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get it away so you guys can't get it on the jump. Um, Okay. 
This is a good one. At least I think it is a good one. Um, see you, Shad. Uh, bang, bang, bang. All right, cool. All hail Bob Ross. <laughs> A to B is three to four. B to C is one to two. What is the measure of the smallest angle in the figure above? Let's go. That's right, Rachel. There are no mistakes, just happy little mistakes. No problems. Jordan Young thinks it's A. Good guess, dude. Good guess. Oh, no, I want the, um, oh, no, nah, no, nah, Leung, you got to give it to me straight up. I don't want the, the variable. Okay, there we go. I thought you were saying answer choice A. I was like, what? Wiz, Tammy, Troy, Introvert, Henry, Geek, Leong, Red One, Dude. <laughs> Crunchy. Oh, what's up, Crunchy? Phoenix. Yeah. Tammy's again dropping another explanation in the chat. Alicia. Jane got 72. Okay. 36 with Phoenix. Venna. Play some Farmville. I'll invite you guys to my farm. Ziao. Uh, what's Farmville? That's funny. Yeah. Gray, Rachel, animation. Okay. All the homies are in. Nice. Okay. Cool. So I guess we'll just go over this because two minutes is too long. Really, bros. Um, so I... So what we're dealing with is some ratio here. And we know that the sum of the, like what we're looking at is a simplified ratio. I'm not saying these are the numbers, but this could be 12 and 16. This could be 30 and 40. We don't know. We just know that this is the simplified ver version of it. Same thing with this one. So we can't actually compare them because right now A to B is three to four and B to C is one to two. So we can't really compare this four to this one. So we're gonna actually multiply this one by four. Let me show you what's up. So we know that A to B is 3 to 4. And we know B, let's do that up here, B to C is 1 to 2. So if I multiply this by 4 on each side, I get B to C is 4 to 8. Right? Now I can combine my A to B to C, which is 3 to 4 to 8. Okay. I think that's right. Did I do this wrong? Oh, you used 360, Jane? Two tisk tisk. Um, yeah, it's 180. Well, that's a good that's a good catch. At least you caught it. That's what's up. Um, messy handwriting. Oh well. Bob Bob Rob <laughs> Rob Boss. Yeah. Is this problem right? Did I build this problem right? That's kind of gnarly. That comes out to 15. Oh, that's not that gnarly. Okay, so this is the reduced ratio: three to four to eight, and Whatever it's been multiplied for, this could be 30 to 40 to 80, we don't know, but we know that it needs to add up to 180. So whatever it's multiplied by, whatever you multiply this 3 by, whatever you multiply this 4 by, whatever you multiply this 8 by, once we unsimplify it, all three of these will add up to 180, right? And we're going to times them by the same thing. So what we get is 15x equals 180. So then we got to divide by 15 on both sides, long division, bros. Practice, practice, practice your long division. Too many people get totally blown out by it. 12. So good shot on none of you guys picking 12 for this. That would be really bad. So that's just what our multiplier is. Now we're looking for our smallest angle. And we're going to multiply it by that 12. And yeah, we're going to get 36. 
Yeah. So Jane, you had your math right. You just were doing 360. You did a 360 and walk away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's how this one goes down. Um, yeah. I like this one because it's an angle one and it's a ratio. And they do use ratios a lot on the SHSAT. Because it's like easy to understand and like stuff like that. Let me see if I got another problem for you guys. Um, I just feel like you guys are so good now. <laughs> yeah, let's do this one, actually. I've made you too good, and now you guys can't be tricked. It's like when the, uh, when the, the student kills the sensei in, like, samurai movies. Um, yeah, dude, I would do another score predictor, but, bro, I'm, like, slammed, like... Last year, I had, like, a lot more free time. But, like, this year, I really don't. Um, so I can't make another score predictor. It would just take too long to go through the actual test itself. Another one. We got <laughs> Anisha's DJ Khaled in the chat. All right, so here we go. Look at this circle. Oh, is it going to be perfect? Yeah. I dare you to find an imperfection in this circle. Literally, that is like a cup traced on a page. Actually, a little funky down here, actually. Oh, well. All right, so... Let me write this out. So these lines might be, ah, no, I'll do it. I'll do it legit. Because the circle isn't legit, the lines will be legit. And the center of the circle is obviously not the center. Dang it. I just suck at circles, man. I, like, can't freehand circles to save my life. Like, if someone's like, you're going to die unless you freehand a circle, I'd be like, just go ahead, dude. Because there's no way I'm going to make a perfect circle. Like, let's just save both of our systems some time here. All right, so 5A, 6A, 2A. I like this problem, and I hope you guys get it, but I also hope it gives you a hard time. Okay, so... I am so sorry. I regret everything as far as my handwriting on this, but you'll have to forgive me just because I'm trying to like whip this question out for you guys. Um, yeah. All right. So what is the average of the measures of the five angles? Thanks, Rachel. Koro Sensei. Uh, and Geek, to answer your question, yeah, dude. But you got to, like, eat them with a fork. <laughs> Thanks, Tabby. <laughs> you can send, just put all the pennies in an envelope and send them to me, please. Just one penny a day. Just send me a letter with one penny in it. Oh, Sports Show's back. What's up, kid? Leung, got you. Geek. Jane. Ooh, Jane with some redemption. Gray. Rachel. Phoenix. Introvert. Whoa, dude. <laughs> How did you guys do this? How did you guys do this so fast? Can you tell me? Because I know a way to do this really fast. Henry, Tammy, Animation Space is, <laughs> I think, trying to communicate with me. I don't know. Uh, Wiz. Okay, wow. Wow. Animation, got you. Did I try to trick you, Rachel? I'm always trying to trick you, bro. Crunchy, yeah, you're going to get BTFO if you don't have paper. But maybe not. I actually think there is a quick one. Yeah, it is kind of quick and easy. I was trying to throw you guys a little bit, but 
it's hard dude the chat is so smart now like at the beginning of the summer i would like give you guys problems like this and you or maybe not like this but like i'd be giving you problems that you could btfo uh so easy but now it's like i really have to prep to throw you guys off which is really good it just means you guys are like becoming like shsat warriors which is really awesome yeah yeah exactly miscellaneous i don't know yep so phoenix actually just dropped it same thing with jordan right so like let me just let me actually just break this down now because everybody's kind of throwing it into the chat whenever you take the average of something you make everything equal know what i'm saying so like if you're if you have three friends and 15 pens the average is going to be five aka everybody gets five each th of the three people get the same it's a way to make things equal like if I have a certain amount of money and I give the average amount of money to each person, each person's going to have an equal share and it will add up to equal the whole thing. So whenever I say take the average of five angles, it doesn't matter what the average is. And let me show you or what those actual angers, ang angers, what, <laughs> what those actual angles are. And so let me show you why. So let's say we have two perfectly drawn circles and one is like totally even 120. 120, 120, right? That's perfect. And then what if we have one that's like this, and that's like 180, and that's, uh, uh, let's say, one, 160, that doesn't work out, and that's 20. All right, let's just say. Let's just say that looks good, but it doesn't. But let's just say it looks good. So what is the average size of these angles? Well, they add up to equal 360. Divide 360 by 3, you get 120. Add up these, it's going to be 360. Divide by 3, it equals 120. So really, what we're going to do is just divide this 360 by 5, aka make all these angles the same size. So we take that 360, divide it by 5. Yeah, you're going to get 72 pretty quick. That's what's up. Now, can you do this legit? Yes, so it would be 10A plus, so it'd be 20A equals 180, divide by 20, divide by 20, A equals 9. So then we would find out what this is, this would be 54, this would be 45, this would be 36, 27, 18, and you'd add all these up, what you're going to get is 360, and then you divide by how many there are, 5. And so, yeah, you're going to get 72 again. So, yeah, you can do this the slow way. You can do this the fast way. It really doesn't matter. Um, no, Sheba's not made up. Rachel answer, answered earlier. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what's up. Um, oh, yeah, April, I got your name. It's just, like, really small. <laughs> this is really small right there. Um, I can definitely zoom in. There you go. There she is. Um, so, yeah, that's everybody got it right, it seems like, on the chat. That's awesome. That's really good, dude. Um, yeah, I'm down for uh, Brawl Stars tomorrow. Uh, definitely. I'm like always playing. Like, just go online and see if I'm online. Uh, I think the clan is like AO Guido or Tyler Guido or something. I forget. Um, yeah. So that's how this one. Yeah, but you could always just solve for A. Like the SHSAT totally, totally wants kids who don't know concepts, but who are just grinders. Like, and not, not grinders as in, like, they just work, 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 but who are, like, sneaky, who can, like, finesse. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, you could solve for A and get it done. That's the way that you could do it if you just are, like, I got a pound and I got to go. Awesome. You're going to get the right answer. Or you could realize the average equals all of the angles out and just divide it by five and get the answer. Either way, you both get the points. And the SHSAT doesn't care. So, yeah, man. That's how this one goes down. Um, yeah, really good, really good stuff, dudes. Um, play Roblox. I don't know, dude. It's pretty too intense for me. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. Let's see if I can trick you guys a little bit more here. See if I can get some more weird questions for you guys. Ooh, I got more. Um. um Okay, this is a hard one. You're gonna have to give me like a minute to to draw this one up. So just chill. 
or don't chill. You should just be screaming. <laughs> no, please don't be screaming. Okay, so let me draw this up because I want to make this legit because this problem's hard. So I don't want the diagram to be the reason why you guys get this wrong. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, that's beautiful too. All right. Got a little something like that there too. Then we got a little something like this. Like a happy line. There we go. It's a nice happy line there. All right. So now I need points. B, D, A, E, C. Uh, let's call this little guy in the middle um, Q. I would use, yeah. Okay. So let's say, do, 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 do. Let's call this L. And let's call this N, and let's call this fancy M. Okay, so um, Actually, no. Let's say. Okay, let me just make sure that this works. So, M, K, L, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck. Hard question. Finally, a question. I think I can trick the chat. Line M bisects angles A, Q, B. Line L bisects angles A, Q, C. What is the angle measurement of D, Q, E? And yes, April, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> Somebody recharge my brain. <laughs> my bane. Will it hurt if you take the mask off? <laughs> Tell me, Tammy. <laughs> Have I tricked you guys? Okay, we got our first kind of... Bob. Bob's a real OG. Bob's been here forever. Yeah. And remember the diagram is not to scale. So I know Phoenix it looks less than 90, but I can't really can't really say. Yes, this is possible, April. Jane, that can't be your answer. It's not 9090. No way. I'm going to zoom out. Answer key, please. 
is less than 90, greater than 90. Ooh, I need an answer. Yeah, this number's hard. Yeah. Not drawn to scale. No, it is not drawn to scale. No, this is a not 3D. Rachel, your answer is legit 4,600. <laughs> no way. No way that's actually your answer that you think that that's... Oh, okay, yeah, I figured out. I figured, Jane. Uh, That's cool. I don't care. You're just hype on 90. Uh, Rachel, 4,600. <laughs> April's just like, screw it. Let's just get on the wagon. I like that. Uh, okay, cool. So now a lot of people are doing the same. Cool. Uh, I can't give you multiple choice. No, there. this could be a grid in. So yeah, this could be a grid in. So just remember that. I actually don't know the answer to this problem. I just found it. I'm like, let's do it. I'll give you guys like a minute more to be frustrated. Okay, Rona's got 40. What's up, Rona? Um, how is it 90? I don't know. I actually don't know the answer. Venna? Okay, Bob. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Sheba's giving up. Um, don't jump immediately, but... Yeah, don't jump to conclusions. It's over 9,000. Wow. <laughs> Are you saying that that angle's power is over 9,000? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go into this one. Just because I feel I can hear all the way from where I'm at. I can hear people's brains exploding. So let's go over this one. Finally, I have a problem that the chat doesn't absolutely obliterate in 30 seconds. So shout out to me. For <laughs> okay, introverts got 90. We got some high IQ answers coming in here. Introverts got 90. Wiz did a lot of calculation to get his answer, probably. Um, Rachel's going to go with it, too. All right. So, <laughs> okay, let's go into it. So, guys, the only piece of information we have is that we have bisecting lines. So, AQB. AQB is bisected. So, that means this guy equals this guy. And that's kind of good to know. Uh, next, we know that L is bisecting AQC, so that means this guy and this guy are equal as well. So we have, I, I hate how close these are together, but whatever, I'll get over it. So we have this and this are the same, and this and this are the same. So dudes, one thing I want you to notice, look at that big straight line that we have, right? We're trying to solve for DQ, DQE right up in here. But look at this big straight line. Guys, remember, circle, 360, half circle, 180. So I don't care how many angles I put into this half circle. It's all going to add up to 180. So we got one, two, three, four angles adding up to 180. Let's call these, uh, it's kind of hard to say, but let's just call this X and X and this Y and Y. So we know 2X plus 2Y equal 180. That's pretty obvious because we got this guy and this guy, that guy and that guy. What happens if I divide this by 2 and divide this by 2? Well, I get x plus y equals 90. Oh, my God. Oh, baby, a triple. Look at this. <laughs> that is DQE is x plus y, bros. That's it. X plus y. And that's how people got to 90. Um, and maybe that's what you were referring to, Bob. But, yeah, that's how this one goes down. Uh, yeah, Tammy, bisect means to cut perfectly into half. Otherwise, they would just say dissect or uh, I don't know if they would say anything. So, yeah, that's how this one goes down. Yeah, I could say intersect, Jane. Yeah, that's right. So, dude, really nice to all the people that got it right. Wiz, um, good job, good effort. Rona, same thing. Super hard problem. Super hard problem. So we didn't get even everybody into an answer. So the fact that these people got it right is like crazy. It doesn't look like 90 because that's definitely not a 90 degree angle, but it's not drawn to scale. So you can't just like bring your ruler and whatever and measure. Oh, you thought that M and L that equal 360? Nah, bro. 
Now, I mean, it would be if it was the whole thing around, but that would make it a lot harder. Yeah, it's not to scale. Not drawn to scale, bro. Yeah, they can do that to you for sure. Uh, can we do a redemption? Do I have a redemption available? Let me see here. Mm, I do have a, I, you know what, bros? I do have a redemption available. Um, let me see. Ooh, that's a hard question. Let me see if I have any more. Hold on a second. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, we can do this one. It's pretty good redemption. Okay. I should honestly be saving all these problems in a binder, but I just love crinkling them up and throwing them away so much that I just do that. Okay, this is going to be the last problem. All right, let's crush it up, guys. Last question. You have a slide rule on your pen? That's really sick, dude. Is it like low? Is it like on the low or like can people tell that it's a slide rule? Because yeah. You could basically just bring a calculator into the test. Not that you need it, though. I'm looking for a number, Bob. Looking for a number, bro. Zach, Phoenix, Introvert, Jane, Rachel, Tammy. Nice. Phoenix, he got you, bro. April. Animation. Dude. Andrew. Yeah, Bob. The redemption is so real. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good, good, good. Henry. Introverts dropping an explanation. We'll see if that's any good. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Man. They, dude, the redemption is so real. Gray. Yeah, April's also dropping an explanation there. Yeah, it's a vertical angle, for sure. Totally. Yeah. Sport Show, got you too, Blup. Nice. Animatron, you are Animatron. Miscellaneous, got you, dude. Nice. <laughs> That's right, Jane. That's right. 
All right. I feel like I I should just go over this just in case. Uh, we got some people who are just kind of watching and want to know how to do this one. Um, so what we know is this is going to be 180. 4, 4, 2, that's 10A is going to equal 180. Divide by 10, divide by 10. A equals 18. Wow, what a time to be alive. So we know that this DC is a vertical angle to this 4A because they're across from each other. So we just do 4 times 18, 2, 30, 72, all day, absolutely all day. Wow. Chat is smart. The chat is smart. All right. All right, dudes. Good stream today. I got to make some phone calls. Um, so I'm going to duck out of here. Um, hit me up via email if you got thumbnails or if you got any other question. Um, I'm definitely down to like help people out if you're in a class or whatever. Um, that's my website, which I spend way too much time building, but it's there. It's kind of chill. Um, so yeah, dude, definitely tell your friends about the channel. I'm definitely trying to grow and I'm really trying to get to 1k. Uh, if we get to 1k subs, we're going to be doing OG streams. Um, and I'm really tr hoping, hoping, hoping we can get to 1k before the school year totally kicks into gear. So that we can get all the OGs into their own like chat so we can keep doing really, really hard problems. Because once the school year starts, we're going to get a lot of new people and we kind of won't be able to be as challenging. So the faster we can get the 1K, the faster we can get these OG streams going. I'm kind of really pumped about those. Um, so yeah, join the Discord if you're not already. Uh, it's like tons of people are, I guess, helping each other out and studying and dropping problems and stuff like that. Um, but I am going to get out of here. Um, good stuff, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow.